If you've been to Saw Water Aquarium Hobbyist for any amount of time, when someone says auto top off, you're gonna to think tons of osmolator. I'm here with Roger USA who has the new, improved, better, different osmolator that is available for sale now. Roger, walk me through this thing. Sure. So the Osmolator 3 uh, keeps the optic sensor technology of our last version, but the optic sensor has been made larger so it's less susceptible to errors. Uh, that gives it a wider field of view, so if calcium deposits, debris on the sensor, scratches, it's less susceptible to an error due to that. We kept the concept of having different sensor technologies, so whatever would cause one sensor to fail would be unlikely to cause the second sensor to fail. But instead of a bulky float switch, we switch to a thermal sensor, so there's a micro heater in here and a micro temperature sensor. When uh, the heat's taken away, that triggers too high. There's a protective cap, and that minimizes algae growth and, and protects the sensor. This is the controller. So in the old situation, we had the controller with the sensors. We had more wires. This just has one wire leaving it. There's no more box? No more control the box. box. The, there's an indicator LED on the uh, controller and that, uh, that'll that give you a lot more status information. For example, if the pump were to jam or run dry, you get an orange light telling you there's a pump issue. Um, this pump can be disassembled and serviced. It's a true DC um, pump instead of a brush motor like our old pump. Okay. And it's purpose built for this. We build these in-house. No more bare wires. This looks like waterproof connector. Everything's waterproof now. The, the connector for the pump is a three pin waterproof connector. There are extension wires available to extend this if you needed to. Okay. Um, but because it transmits data back and forth uh, on the pump status, it, it's a more sophisticated connector. Talking about power, you were explaining to me earlier that you could put this in kind of boost mode or turbo mode and yeah. have 20 feet of head pressure you can work against. If you unplug it and plug it in several times during its initialization, which it's going to be flashing a white light, It'll start flashing rapidly, and that tells you you're in turbo mode. And then the, the uh, pump will be capable at 20 feet, or it will pump much faster. So you could have this in your basement, your vat in the basement, and pump up to your tank. Yes. Wow. Yeah. OK, off of this little boy, 20 feet head pressure. It actually is a turbine-style impeller. It, is, it took a lot of time to design that pump and get the pressure we wanted out of it. So lots of improvements on this thing. Another product is flagship for you all is your stream pumps. You have an updated version of this as well. Well, this is, so there's actually yet another update coming, but uh, these came out last year. We've updated the propeller assembly, and what that did was that we get the same flow rate, but we went from having uh, 28 watts of power consumption down to just 11. Wow. And, uh, the, the shape of the propeller minimizes slip and drag and maximizes the flow rate. And we went from, we used to have two flow housings, uh, narrow and wide, now it's wide and wider. This pump is now a lot more quiet and because of the lower energy consumption, calcium builds up a lot slower because they run a lot cooler. Okay. Easily 10 decibels quieter than the old version. Wow. And one good thing is, is actually if you have an old one, you can simply update the propeller and the power supply, because now they're 12 volts, and you can update your pump to this. Now, the next thing that's coming is, and these will be out in Europe very soon, they'll come to the US probably in the early summer, but we're going to Wi-Fi control modules, and you'll just log into Tunzi Hub, it'll be cloud-based, and you can set all your settings without the knobs and buttons, you can synchronize your pumps without having another controller or cables to connect them. And that'll come out soon in Europe, but for the US, we're waiting for FCC approval, so. Damn government. Yeah, be a little longer, but those are coming soon. Okay, So awesome, thanks for showing me that, Roger. No problem, thank you. Mm -hmm.